What's happening, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? Let's go. Diecast discussion. How's everybody doing tonight? Number 72. Let's go. Sounded good. Welcome to Diecast Discussion. I am your host. I don't know why my voice did that. <laughs> I am Derek, your host. Honest Diecast, but collectively we are all Honest Diecast, building a community of collectors that are about the cars, none of that other silly stuff. So thank you for joining. If it's your first time joining, welcome. I hope that you enjoy. Uh, we talk everything Diecast, collecting, customizing, hunting, any kind of news, any kind of subject, issues, controversies leaks you name it we talk about it and we usually have a lot of fun doing so so welcome let's get started we always get our diecast discussion started by saying hello to everybody and we do have some folks in here my good friend ben from australia what's up mate he says good day to everybody and josh from australia good day mate what is up Josh, I have a big old box from Josh. Um, I was expecting something to come in. I was not expecting something of this size to come in. So <laughs> needless to say, I am excited to see what is in the package. And uh, I will share that with you guys. And we will see what it is here shortly. And we got Will in the house. Uh, talk about cars. I thought it was all about the money. <laughs> Well, I got some channels I could send, you know, I could, I could send you that way, you know, there's, there's a couple, like a lot, <laughs> unfortunately, but uh, yeah, all in good fun. Uh, Jorge, uh, the new Toyota Super Mainline coming out in MK's 2022, nice, I'll have to check that out. And I'm assuming that's a Mark V Supra, maybe, or maybe it's a Mark IV, that'd be interesting. Uh, Artie Custom, what is up? We got Eddie from Simple Customs in the house. What is up, Eddie, my man? Uh, we have my neighbor, essentially. It's about two hours south of me. Frank Camacho, what is up, buddy? So, yeah, is anybody hunting, anybody finding anything on Memorial Day? I've not really had a chance to get out and look, so I don't know what's out there right now. But I'm assuming new transports, the one with the S15, the HKS. I think that's should be heading right about now. Uh, main line's probably G and F case for the most part. Um, yeah. Yeah, let me know what you guys are finding. Well, it's about time. Let's ruin the, ruin the hobby. <laughs> See your brothers in the house. What is up? You kids be safe. They are traveling to Florida, their new home. So best of travels. Maybe you can make some stops on the way there. Maybe hunt for some die cast. Who knows? That'd be some good footage for the channel. Uh, Hector, what is up, amigo? King of Supers, hola. What is up, Hector? Always good seeing you, buddy, whether here or in the, in the uh, comments. Good to see you. Can't wait to take food off hunters off of off hunters plates. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> then premium Lambo's dough. Yes. 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 Uh let me let me bring up my community post real quick in case those of you who have not seen this. This is a huge deal to me, and it seems like a lot of people are excited about it. So let me go to my community post real quick, and we'll do uh, we'll do an image capture. Boom, there we go. Boom piece intro. Here it is, folks, and I got to give uh, Pia from Mad Visions credit. He was the one who shared this first with me, so thank you, Pia. Appreciate you, buddy, because he knew I was definitely excited for this. 
Um, but my post says, OMFG, that's all I got to say. Easily a top contender for best premium of the year for me. Easily. Easily. Look at that. Even the regular one, man. Even the regular one. And there's the chase. The chase is hot fire, too. And just looking at the pictures, man, I'm telling you guys, Hot Wheels nailed it. Hot Wheels nailed it. And if you don't know about the Lamborghini Ascenza SCV-12, uh, it is a track-only uh, supercar, and it is absolutely amazing. Uh, 800 wheel horsepower. It's got a Lamborghini Aventador uh, V12 in it. It's loud. It's violent. It's everything I like in a car. <laughs> everything I like in a car. So, yeah. Not a fan of Lambos. All right, more for me then. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to want some of those for sure. Uh, Pia says, to be honest, I prefer the regular. Yeah, the regular's got that really nice hue green on it. I like the Chase a lot, too. I like them both. I want them both. I want them both. Soon, my friend. Soon. Soon we will get into that. <laughs> Josh is eager to see see this unboxing. I'm excited to see what's in it. I have no idea what's in it. None. And it's a big box, and it's heavy. So it will be, ex it, it will be exciting. Uh, Pia says, that's a na nasty sounding Lambo. Yes, if you guys have not seen the Ascenza SCV-12 in action, the real life car, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, do a YouTube search, type in B-O-Z-Z-Y, Bozzy, Ascenza, and you'll see everything you need to see. The feed is bad. That's looking pretty good to me. Looking pretty good to me, Mike. Might be on your end. Uh, Metalhead Deadcast, what's up, friend? Uh, anyone excited for the Honda set? Yes, that EF, that EF hatch that's in it is very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, Seager Brothers, no. Many people have requested me to get on uh, Instagram. I still have not done it. Uh, just because I have a hard enough time keeping up with... with uh, with Facebook as it is, that's all I'm on is Facebook is our group. Um, but yeah, just not enough time. Uh, my job is 12 hours easy a day and it's early. So yeah, maybe in the future, we'll see. We'll see TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. We'll see maybe in the future if I can find time for it. So I bought from One Stop before. It says uh, Fisho for life. I like your username. It threw me through a loop there for a second. Yeah, I bought it from One Stop before. I bought a display case. I bought the, I think I bought two of the Gasser display cases, which are two of these ones sitting over here. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, One Stop is pretty good. A little more expensive than other places like A&J, but Overall good. It seems like they get first dibs on the stuff. So, and I am planning on buying a couple of cases of that new exotic Envy with the SCV12 for sure. And I'm probably going to buy Mountain Drifters too. A couple of cases of those. KC, what's up? Cheers. See ya. <laughs> In and out like that. What's up, Metal Mania 3D TV? What's up, my friend? Uh, Josh says, I've got a mail call for you, Derek. Still need to ship it out, though. No rush, my friend. No rush. And thank you for the kind gesture. Again, people, uh, you guys don't have to send me anything, but anything you do send, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Got to see that Ascenza. Uh, Seeger, what were we going to trade? I, I was, oh, I think you wanted some reds, right? I think you wanted reds. I'm sorry. I I got blurred vision right now. Um, but yeah, let me know. Big A in the house. What is up, my friend Adrian in the house? Big A's diecast. 
Need at least two sets. No, my luck, I won't find anything. Yeah, premiums have been tough this year, I tell you. Still haven't ran into Mountain Drifters. Still haven't found my blue Porsche from uh, Deutschland Design. But thanks to a lot of you guys, I got quite a few of them. So thank you guys again for helping me out. You guys helped me out with the green fours of GT3 RS, and you guys helped me out with this. You guys are awesome, 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 and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Peyton says, hey, Peyton in the house. Uh, Chris, uh, tried to order a case of Mountain Drifters, but I guess it sold out after processing was giving my money back at least. That's good. All right. Give me one sec, guys. Sorry, guys. Hold on. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> I had a little bit of difficulty getting a uh, getting a guest lined up today. I like I really like doing the guests on the second half of the show, and uh, everybody's busy. You know, it's Memorial Day weekend, so that's the way it goes. But uh, yep, no <laughs> no luck with the du the douchebag design set. Hey, yep, <laughs> yes. Uh, absolutely, Superbird. Uh, would it be okay if I promoted my Mopar build-off in your Facebook group? Absolutely. Please do. Please do. Uh, oh, yeah. The Dollar General Acura and uh, for the Red Civic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys want a full, full batch of Reds? I think I have an extra set. I might not after today because I helped. Help my buddy Joey Eli out with a couple of sets, but I think I might have one more, and that's it. Uh, Felipe, here's a tip for Hot Wheels Marvel collectors. The 2022 H-Case Audi RSE Tron GT from the same car model Tony Stark Iron Man used in Avengers Endgame. Very interesting. Very nice. Thanks for the inf info, Felipe. Uh, Zelda diecast racing in the house. What's up guys? How's everyone doing? We are doing excellent. My friend, happy Memorial day weekend. Ben will be your guest chatting from down under. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. That babe car made me sad. Okay, let's uh, let's get into our first topic. Just want to ask you guys a quick question real quick. Did you get the babe car? Did you even try for it? <laughs> I think a lot of people, well, obviously a lot of people were interested in it because it's supposedly sold out in about two minutes. Um, I did not go for it. Not really my thing. I don't really uh, go after the goal, the goal wings. Um, it's just not my thing. A lot of people like it. Um, Pia says, uh, <laughs> the bait car is hideous. Sorry if I hurt some feelings. It's just, bleh. yeah. So the bait car was that old, uh, that old school Mercedes, uh, goal wing, which it seems like, I think it's the second year in a row that the goal wing has been, it's been at least an RLC car. And I think it was, you know, a specialty, you know, sale car, like it was this year with bait or whatever. Um, yeah, for those that don't know, Bape is a clothing brand. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe last year it was it was also the the specialty, you know, hot ticket card kind of. Uh, Lugnut RS or Lugnutters. Uh, my buddy went to Miami and got three at the store. I now have one. Nice. Nice. I'm, 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 I'm wondering how much it was if you bought it directly from the store. Uh, Josh didn't try for it as ugly as hell. <laughs> we got some haters in this house. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's just not, it's not for everybody. 
I did a, I did enjoy the deco on it, but um, yeah, just not my car. Not my car. Not my type of car. Uh, Mikey, I think I saw it. Not my bag. Yeah, that's how I felt about it. I agree. I'm a fan of the bait brand. Mercedes, not so much. Yeah, if it was a... Um, you know, if it was like maybe a 190E or, you know, an AMG GT3 or, you know, something like that, yeah, I'd be interested. It's just, it's just gold wings. I'm just not a big fan. Uh, Jorge says, the Skyline Super Treasure Hunt 2022, probably the best super of the year. You're talking about, uh, what is that, J-Case? The J-Case green one? Yeah, the Haku. Hey, you guys be thankful I ain't got a mic. It's been a while since water ASMR, huh? <laughs> uh, Chris Davis, uh, collaboration cards are a wonderful thing for promotional purposes, drawing a new crowd and help uh, fund things that we may like in the future. Amen. Amen to that. I wonder when they're going to do another Supreme one. That'll be interesting. <laughs> Super, what are your thoughts on the three three newly revealed supers, the 32 Ford, the Mini Shat Mobile, and Mercedes Super? I haven't seen the Mercedes Super yet. I think I saw the Shat Mobile. <laughs> and I've seen the 32 Ford. 32 Ford's nice. Uh, but yeah, those other two I gotta check out. Uh John says, hey, hey. You know when that envy set is coming out, Kale thinks you uh, you made those Lambos. Yeah, yeah, I made them. I made the the Ascenza SCV12. <laughs> Let's start a petition for the pig to be made. Yes. Oh man, if man if Hot Wheels came out with um, oh god, I even forgot the name of it. The Porsche, the pink pig Porsche, the new one. <laughs> They were they were gonna call it the Huna Pig Huna Pegasus. That's what they were gonna call it. Um, yeah, if Hot Wheels came out with that, oh my goodness gracious! Uh, Josh Smith, I did find the BMW 3.0 CSL race car today. Super, I take it. Nice man, congratulations. Still front runner for my favorite super. Still front runner. All right, let's get into, because this mail call is going to take a little bit. So let's get into the mail calls, shall we? <clears throat> First one, I already opened. <laughs> this was a trade box from Skip's Diecast. I opened it because I really wanted to see the card. Uh, not that I was checking it. I totally trust Skip. Um, but, yeah, we did, a, we did a little trade. I wasn't really... Uh, so some of you may have known, but I sent a a purple Dodge van <clears throat> CK Super. The last one that I found, I sent to him because he hasn't found it yet. He's having the same type of luck that I was with CK last year with the Roger Dodger. Just can't find it no matter what. So, um, so I sent that over to him, and he was like, well, "What do you want in return?" And I was like, "You know, I'd, what do you got?" And uh, he told me he had this, so we traded for this. But this wasn't it. He, he threw this in for me. He threw in a power grab 918 Spider. Heck yeah. I've not seen this one hanging around yet. So obviously I got the carded ones, but not the power grab, which this is this is a matchbox power grab for those of you guys that don't know. And I got a couple of them sitting over here, so I'll put that one right there. Thank you, Skip. And then next, this is what we traded for. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Very nice sticker. I do like I do like the simplicity of this, uh, Skip. But uh, send me a sticker so you know what we do with uh, with our fellow channel members or uh, our fellow YouTube channel folks. We put their sticker right up here, and we're gonna have to start going down to the next one. How about that? Already. So yeah. Got Andre Cruz, his newest one with the, uh, which is really cool, by the way, because it has the uh, Squid Game 
little guy on there. Uh, his new one is Pin, uh, David from Twice That Cast, Alex Graf, uh, JDC, Bees That Cast, Fantasyland, Hewitt's new one, Hewitt's old one, Miniature Mustangs, uh, just my own logo, Skip the Diecast now, Big A, and Brandon from Liver Diecast. So sweet. In a nice little, uh, nice little collection. So thanks for the uh, thanks for the stickers, guys. Uh, Pia said, I'm about to start making my sticker soon. Yes, please do. Uh, Lug Nutters, hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, what is the newest exclusive set you want to add to your collection? Exclusive set. So are you talking about store exclusives? Or are you talking about premiums, uh, box sets, exclusive set? I really want mountain drifters. That's really what I've been hunting hardest for. <laughs> yes i'm telling you guys if you haven't checked out the video go do it you'll thank me uh, make sure you crank the volume way up too you'll thank me later listen to it on a good sound system crank that volume up uh super says just watch the ascends and oh my god that thing is insane yes it is savage savage but anyways last bit of a uh, skips mail call this is what we traded for The a Deutschland design. I'm not even gonna stoop down to the level. The AMG, the sixty-three C sixty-three AMG Coupe Chase. So thank you, thank you, Mister Skips Diecast. Appreciate it. So now we have the first two. I did find the first one. Uh, acquired a second one to open. I'm gonna need to try to find another one to open. Because I'm not opening that one. That's my only one. You know how we do it. So, but yeah, very beautiful. Uh, very nice. What do you guys think about the premium chases this year? Are you guys happy that they're just uh, that they're just all black? Or like, what would you want to see different next year? Um, I think I think maybe a Spectre Flame version would be really really cool. Uh, you know, kind of like a super have the regular version and then have you know a spectra flame version that looks similar that'd be kind of cool but i don't know it's cool it's cool all the chases are black so very nice made it i'm here now who found what that i can be jealous of <laughs> not me i haven't found anything this week so i did find a. Uh, it's way over there. I'd grab it. But I did find that new Walmart exclusive set, the, the mainline exclusive set. That's what I call them. Uh, the only two cars I picked up out of that set was the Porsche Panamera and uh, the XESV Project 8 Jaguar, the orange one. That's all I picked out of it. Everything else I, I was good on. Um, even the Lambo, the Estoque, or however you say it, Estoque. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I wasn't even really interested in that. You know, maybe I'll grab it some other time, but. Yeah. Make it all paint. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. What's up, Jeff? Honestly, I'd rather have ID chases come back. Me too. Me too. Mattel, if you're watching this, please bring back ID chases. <laughs> we enjoyed those. We enjoyed those. Or supers, ID chases, and premium chases. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I just... I'm kind of sticking to my wit on this one. You, you guys, a lot of people asked me when the year started how I felt about premium chases, and um, I'm still sticking to my guns on it. I kind of don't, I mean, it's cool, but I kind of don't like it because the distribution of premiums is just, it's very inconsistent. It's extremely inconsistent, and... You know, trying to find these things is very, very, very difficult. And yeah, you know, a chase, a super, whatever, it's supposed to be somewhat difficult to find. But, you know, it's like, at least let's get a good shot at it. Uh, Deutschland Design, I just, I've not found very much of it at all. At all. I have found four cars. I, I have not found, I have not found this, this yet. But I have it, thanks to you, thanks to a lot of you guys. So thank you. Um, but yeah. 
it's just pre dealing with premium distribution is just uh, it, it's tough because not everybody gets the same shot. Uh, you get a much fairer shot at main lines than you do uh, with you know premium premium sets. So on the fence about it. Overall, cool. You know, I think we definitely need a secondary chase to go after, not just supers. Um, so I'm glad that they kept that in mind. It's just give us the premiums. Give us a ton of these premiums, <laughs> please. Walmart was so messed up they didn't have a code for them. Hmm. It would be cool if they put the car in mainline cases where the paint was a little different. Maybe we can somehow scan them to an app. Oh, wait. <laughs> I third that, but IDs are done. Yeah. Maybe they figure out whatever the hell's going on with this chip shortage or whatever it is that made them stop it. I don't know. At least a Spectre, Spectre Frost color on a premium chase. Although if they did an all white one next year, all gold and nether switch. Yeah. Yeah, that was my thought too. You know, at least switch up the colors. But um, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Like all black this year, all white next year, then gold and then maybe Spectre Flame, you know, three years down the line, you know. I like it. I like it. Danny's diecast in the house. What's up, Danny? Good to see you. Coffee cars and more with Danny and Sam. He says, hi, guys and gals. What's up? What's up, Danny? Good to see you, buddy. I'm skipping on the Fast and Furious uh, set. Yeah, it's pretty much all re-releases. That's all it is. Like, the only thing that's different is the wheels on the lightning. That's it. That's it. Uh, I'm still looking for the second red set. The dude was like cracked out saying he was rich because he took all the reds when I asked if I could have a set. Mm. Yeah. Okay. He's rich. <laughs> Woo. Freaking ding dongs. More premiums, less Batman character cards. Yes, please. Yes, please. They should just revamp the whole entire entertainment, uh, retro entertainment series to like realistic cars that are like maybe movie themed that'd be kind of cool jdc in the house what is up just chilling with a baby zachary <laughs> what's up man good to see you big daddy jay in the house lucky dog nathaniel lucky dog i'm still on the hunt Mikey Frisco, check that Bozzy Lambo. I can't tell if that's like a hmm, or like a meh. It's kind of what it looks like. Dude, that car rips, man. Sounds amazing, too. The suspense has, has, has been killing me. <laughs> I'm getting to it. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay. Okay, Josh and Ben are breathing down my neck. They want me to open this box right now, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> the suspense. They're excited about it. So, like, yeah, I mean, this is going to be good. If they're, if they're super excited about it, this is going to be good. So, let's go. <clears throat> this thing weighs like 15 pounds, probably. This is a heavy boy. <laughs> so let's see what is what has come from the lamb down under. I always forget how these things go as far as opening. I think that opens from the front, right, y'all? So yeah, open in a box from Josh from Australia. This thing is huge. And by the way, guys, I to anybody who might not be happy about, uh, you know, me not filming unboxing episodes, I'm sorry. My time is just very, very limited right now <clears throat> with work and everything. It's just much, much easier to just do it on the live stream. So uh, bear with me one day. We will get back to the unboxing episodes. 
if you guys enjoyed those. But uh, yeah, let's let's see what's let's see what's going down here. That's right. It's got the little flop right there. Okay. Packed in tons of fragile tape. And I'm telling you guys, this box weighs a lot. What's in the box? Brad Pitt voice. <laughs> no way, dude, huh? <laughs> what's in the box? Well, I can tell you what's on top of the box. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay. We got a lot of mystery models sitting up here. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to make some room because i got to set that stuff up here. Uh, Jay, dude, don't worry about it. Those of you who are, those people who are friends with you and know, you know, what's going on, you know, that's all that matters. Uh, he says, I'm sure a lot of people aren't happy with me. I'm MIA in the whole community. My bad, y'all. Don't worry about it. We understand. We will be here when your time frees up, buddy. We, we will be here. Uh, Josh, no, it's actually, it's in pretty, it's in good shape. It's in good shape. It's not beat up at all. <laughs> Nothing better than watching Honest Diecast and folding laundry. That's a new one. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, a lot of people are like me. I my favorite thing to do is to is to watch and listen live streams and do and do customs. But folding laundry, that's a new one. All right. <laughs> yeah, everybody just send in Jay. They're uh, they're understanding. We understand, bro. Don't worry about it. We will be here for you. Don't worry about it. All right, we got a ton. I wonder which ones they are. <laughs> Holy cow, we got a ton of tons of mystery models. I guess they're very widely distributed down there. They're not as hard to find as they are here, but my God. <laughs> I'm covering my keyboard and all that stuff with these things. Holy cow. There's a lot, guys. There's a lot. Holy cow. I think that was most of the weight was mystery models. <laughs> Holy cow. Sheesh. Okay. So there's a Porsche. There's a Porsche. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> There's a Porsche. <laughs> These guys grabbed. Oh my God. People in Australia are going to hate me. Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> I, they're all, I think they're all Porsches, guys. Just to be honest with you, I think they're all Porsches. Holy cow. Porsche. Snaplock bag ones are different. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Josh. Porsche. Okay. Yeah, these are all Porsches. There's a lot of them. There's a ton of them. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And I still have not found these in the wild yet. Still have not. Uh, Mark Hot Wheel for life. Derek's sitting on Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so they said the ones in the Ziploc bags are different. So probably Beamer and uh, Beamer and Dotson. So there's a Dotson. There's a Dotson. There's a Dotson. And there's a Dotson. Okay, so four four Dotsons. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow, that's crazy. You guys are nuts. You guys are madmen. But thank you so much. Holy cow. God. Oh, uh, hopefully, hopefully our Australian viewers don't hate me. <laughs> Damn that Ben and Josh, they, they got all the friggin' mystery model Porsches and they sent them to the U.S. to that honest diecast guy. <laughs> Sweet, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. We're just going to put a table of these. <laughs> uh, oh, that one fell out. Unless it's in here somewhere. Maybe just a sticker, but yeah. All 
Uh, Metalhead, I can help you out. I'll send you one. He's asking about a mystery model Porsche or uh, Datsun. I'll send you one. Man, that's a lot of Porsches, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's safe to say that I am I'm good on the Porsches. Um, okay, so this looks like this is a late birthday present. So I'm going to save that to la for last because that's wrapped. Uh, ben says, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll need a uh, bulk Monero. <laughs> okay. Talking about that, um, that holding coming out. Oh God, there's more. Holy cow. Okay, I think it's safe to say that I have every number one mystery model ever released in Australia. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. Thanks, guys. I love it, though. I love it, though. Don't even get it twisted. Thank you. Uh, hold on one sec, guys. I got to disconnect from uh, Bluetooth real quick. Here, come here. I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Here, let me see the headset. Sorry, guys. Daughter has to... She must watch her show. She must. Okay, give me a second. I'll disconnect the Bluetooth. It's not working. Here. Here. One second, guys. Sorry about that. All right. I think we're good now. Okay. Back to the unboxing. Got something wrapped up in a paper towel. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Interesting. Look at this. Look at this poor gal, man. She's been through some... Some abuse. It's a Burago 143. Look at that. She's got some miles on her. <laughs> Holy cow. That poor gal's got some miles on her. I don't know what is on my finger. It's like blue. Uh, but yeah, okay. Onto the first sleeve of shorties. Krispy Kreme is in the house with some fresh donuts. <laughs> Says Adrian. All right, let's see what this is. This is a bunch of shorties. Y'all know I love shorties. Where are my shorties at? There we go. Now we can see in here. Must be careful because, yeah, shorties like to drop. They're so easy to drop. Alrighty. A couple of shorty Firebirds, Mighty K, GT40. Very nice. Got a shorty Impala. Very nice. We got a shorty Nissan Z Proto. This looks like a shorty F and G. F and G short cards. A couple of S two thousands. S two thousand shorties. And we got a Beller Gasser shorty. Very nice. Definitely one of that. And the EK9 mainline shorty. 
Very nice. That's the first sleeve. And let's see what is in here. These look like some older shorties. I can see what's in there. Very, very nice. Ah, there we go. Yeah, one of the one of the Porsche Mystery Models uh, packages were empty. And I was like, it must have fell out, and it certainly did. <laughs> so I got a couple of loose, a couple of Lucy sitting on the desk now. I got like three, three or four. I got four. I got four loose ones <laughs> sitting on here. Uh, time to wheel swap them. Wheel swap them and detail them, that's for sure. Yeah, thanks, guys. And by the way, in, in this sleeve down here that I can see, there's something I desperately need in there. Desperately. Desperately. So thank you, guys. I have not even come close to finding that. And you guys sure do know how to tape up your sleeves. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Let's see. Ah, short. Whoa. Home seat. They drop easy, I'm telling you. They will fly. Shorties will fly out of your hands. So got that classic TV series tuned Batmobile in a shorty. Uh, Nissan R390 in shorty. Very nice. Got three of these. I think you guys already sent me some of these, but yeah, more definitely not bad. 935 shorties. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry, wrong angle. Two of the black ones. JDC, thanks for, thanks for hopping on, buddy. Appreciate it. We will see you soon, my friend. We will be here when you are ready. There's the Nissan Leaf, Bugatti EB110, and Mazda RX3 in shorties. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate having those in the collection in shorties very much. Very much. All righty, next sleeve. <laughs> man. Man. Man, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, double yeah. <laughs> Still, I think I might have found one of these, one or two of these in stores. That's it. So there's the Forza, the 997 GT3 RS. Yes, please. Yes. Very much yes. Very much yes. And we got a BMW 3.0 CSL short card mainline. And this is a huge deal. That beautiful 935 in a shorty. Yes. 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 All right. We got a big old stack of premiums in here. And we got some more Lucy's. Let's see what these are. Some more paper towel. Right? You guys got really nice paper towels. They got like really nice, uh, really nice design on them. But they channel, they wick the moisture away very nicely. Wow, look at this thing. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Look at that 959. These are some like classic. They've been through life. They have served their purpose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a couple more of this, that scale, too. It feels like. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see what this is. What on earth is this? Is... AMC Pacer. Okay. Look at that.
Yeah, Josh says the they need it needs a rest though. Yeah, <laughs> to say the least. To say the least. Holy cow. I'm really excited to get to these premiums and the birthday present. Psyched. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't have this one in my collection. Josh must have stole this from Ben's collection. Because Ben is a huge square body guy. This one, if it focuses, it's probably not going to focus, but yeah. Yeah, this one has served its purpose too. Looks like it's been stepped on. <laughs> Bend axle. The front wheel's hanging on for dear life. All right. All right. <laughs> nice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> ha, Josh. Oi. <laughs> Oi, mate. <laughs> uh, Ferris says that Forza showed up in my Walmart absolutely crushed, grabbed a Porsche, but when I opened it later, the wheel that was against the card was bent over at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle, full hover mode. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Burke says I'm late. What's up, Burke? <laughs> Uh, currently restoring an old Matchbox Countach and to Countach, I'm giving it the Supreme decals and trying to find white real rider aero disc. Nice, nice. Yeah, if you can find the uh, the Thrill Climbers nine three four point five that has white aero disc on it. All right, let's get into the premiums. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, yes. I see some on the top that I really needed really, really bad. And I see something on the bottom that I also needed really, really bad. Uh, you guys are my heroes, man. You guys are my heroes. All right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is a big deal because I needed this to get to get current with the boulevards. Nowhere even close to finding this hard body. So thanks, guys. You guys have filled the gap on this bat on this on boulevard in general. So I'm all caught up thanks to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's the set. I found all other four. Did not find the hard body though. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Friggin' sweet. Thank you guys. And I do have this one. This is the Baltic Blue Auto World Supra. Definitely hoping to get my hands on the ultra red version of this. So very nice. Thank you, guys. Maybe I'll open that one. Maybe. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Here's that Nissan Laurel with those great 8 millimeter wheels on them. I will definitely be using these for those. Thank you so much. Very, very nice. Chris Davis, the upcoming RLC wheel set has white air discs in it. Okay, there you go. And then we have the CLK GTR, that beautiful DTM car. Friggin' awesome. Love that car. Love that car. Friggin' phenomenal. It's kind of funny, though. It's not a streetable car, so how could it be a boulevard car? <laughs> Same with the NSX GT3. Not a streetable car. And yes, this is the other big deal in the sleeve. If anybody has any extra of these that they want to give up, let me know because I want these for customs, for sure. For sure. Did not find very, very many of those at all. And uh, I would love to use those for, uh, for customs candidates. That'd be great. Oh, boy. <laughs> See, I was telling you guys. 
I was telling you guys, friggin' Ugh. Oh, okay. All right. I missed that one. I didn't see that. <laughs> man, you guys rock, man. Thanks. God, you guys killing me with generosity, man. Okay, so we have two, four, six, seven. Seven of those. Man, you guys are awesome, man. Ben, Josh, and anybody who sent me these, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for helping me with, the, with those. Again, I haven't found a single one in the wild. But thanks to you guys, I don't have to sweat. I don't even have to. And this, Josh, I, now I know what you're talking about. Josh was like, oh, I was saying to myself, don't open it, don't open it, don't open it. Well, this was the one he was trying to tell me not to open. <laughs> Look at that. He sent me a C8R chase. How about that? Friggin' epic. Now, the those guys, I know for a fact they had a pretty good heyday with these down there. They're finding a lot of them, a lot of the C8R chases, but uh, they were not finding the C63 AMG chase. They, they weren't finding that. So I'm hoping I can find some so I can help them. Um, okay, grand finale, I guess. Uh, the birthday present. This is it. So let's see what it is. Yeah, Ben says we found a few C8R chases. This box is all Josh, brother. Guy's a hunting beast. Yes, he is. Hope your ankle gets better, buddy. All right, let's see what the late birthday present is. <laughs> Maybe this is the one that he was super excited about. I don't know. I don't know, but I love everything that's been in the box so far. I'm going to cut this one open because I don't want to damage anything. It's in a paper bag. It's in a secondary, secondary uh, wrapping paper and... I think this is it. They might have wrapped it up again. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Yep, they did. <laughs> and it's wrapped again underneath that. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are killing me. How many times are we, <laughs> we going to unwrap it? <laughs> it's wrapped again under, under this, too, I bet. Yep. How long did it take you to uh, wrap this up, Josh? A couple hours? <laughs> Another door! Another door! <laughs> okay, here we go. Here it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, dude, nice. Nice. Oh, heck yeah. I have not gotten one of these, but thanks to you guys, I have one. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Well, that was worth the work. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Wow, that thing is a beaut, man. Holy cow. Legend Store, R32. Hell yeah. Friggin' awesome. Wow, thanks, Josh. That is awesome. Yeah, that thing is beautiful. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to acquire another one of these because I want to open it. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. I like how they redesigned the car, too. The car, I mean, of course they would, but I never even noticed that. Friggin' awesome, dude. Friggin' awesome. Yeah, I saw a protector and I was like, uh-oh, what is this? What is this? Wow, friggin' nice, guys. Friggin' awesome. White and Spectra Flame Purple. Very, very nice. I do like it. I do like it. Mucho. Thank you very much. Wow. Round of applause to Josh for the epic 
epic friggin' mail call, man. Thank you so much. So much good stuff. So much stuff I needed, man. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm like slobbering. I need a bib. <laughs> wow. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All the shorties. Legistar R32. All the friggin' GT3 RSs. The C8R Chase. Man, everything. Those old rusty 143s. Heck yeah, man. Friggin' awesome. Josh Australia, Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> Pass the parcel, yeah. <laughs> they did. They made me work for it, but it was worth the work. Holy cow. To be continued next time. Yeah, we'll see you guys back on uh, Deckcast Discussion 73, where I'm still opening up opening up the friggin' uh, wrap on it. <laughs> it's a gold duck and roll. Yep, that's what it should have been. <laughs> Uh, Eric, I did not go for it. I didn't. Not my. Not my thing, man. Not my thing. Enjoy, boss. I got to run by chat soon. Yes, Josh. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I, everything in this box is epic, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hell yeah, man. Friggin' awesome. Friggin' awesome. Wheels are way better on this one. Yeah. Yeah, the Chrome Volks are very, very nice. I do like those wheels a lot. Uh, Legend Skyline is sweet, but kind of whack on the plastic base and no rear detail. Uh, it does have rear detail. It does have rear detail. It's got the uh, it's got the tail lights. It's got the GTR badge. Yeah. It's even got the two red rear fog lights on it. It's good, man. It's good. And yeah, all the Legend Store cards are, are plastic base. They're not metal base. Because I mean, essentially, essentially it's a mainline car, I guess. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The rear has uh, tampos, but plastic base. Yeah, yeah. That's all the Legend Store cards. The Silverado, Silverado, or I think the Silverado, Silverado might have a metal base, but the Datsun and the Gasser have plastic bases for sure. Damn, Josh sent in the bar in this box. Dang, yeah. <laughs> right. Kill it, man. Yeah, Silverado was a metal base. Yeah, so. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but whatever. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Uh, Adrian, I'm not sure if you're talking about the Legends Tour car. Oh, Metal Base. Okay. Oh, there we go. I said, sorry, I meant Metal Base. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess it, all of us prefer Metal Bases in the end, but, you know, Plastic Base is okay. That's okay, I guess. It is what it is. So, yeah. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate the freaking epic mail call, man. That was awesome. Um, yeah, let's just hop right into our next discussion real quick. Friggin' epic. And, uh, Skip Stycast, thank you for the trade, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. So, let's talk about plugs. A lot of YouTubers like to, uh, a lot of YouTube hunters like to flaunt this, that they have plugs in stores. What are your thoughts about it? Uh, about people that do have plugs? Do you have plugs? Um, and did you know that plugs go way beyond just stores? Let's get into it. So what do you guys think about plugs? How do you guys feel about people with inside connections at stores? Um, do you have stores that you can rely on? Mikey, nope, I'm on my own. Joey Eli in the house. What is up? Thanks for tuning in, my friend. Good talking to you today on the phone, by the way. Uh, Mikey Frisco, cheating if you ask me. Don't even get me started with that, bro. <laughs> 
Don't even. Don't even. A certain other Derek has plugs, yes, and he's very proud of them. <laughs> and people wonder why he finds so much. How does he find all those supers? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Plugs are just employees that become friends. Says Dabaruski. Uh, it gives collectors a huge disadvantage. Steve Bricker, what's up, my friend? Uh, sort of defeats the purpose of the hunt. Uh, Chris Davis, uh, I've got one target where I'm friends with the stock workers, but I don't ask them to withhold things for me. We do first come, first serve if asked. That's the case with most of the stores that I visit, too. I Like, in my opinion, it's okay to, to make friends with employees and, you know, get to know them on a personal basis. But, yeah, uh, that's the majority of the stores. Like, a lot of the, you know, there's a handful of stores that know me and know what I'm looking for. Uh, but, yeah, none of them will sit there and, you know, hold them. And, you know, it's first come, first serve. Like, if we go in and ask them, we're the first ones there. Yeah, they'll probably pull stuff out for us, probably. Uh, but they're not holding it for us. Does that make any sense? Big disadvantage. They take all the stuff I'm trying to collect. Derek, you stage everything. Remember, yes, yes, yes. That's right. I got a backpack with 10 supers that I just stuff in shippers and then I start rolling and I pull them back out. And yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> Dude has plugs, pull cases off pallets and hide them in electronics. Yep. I've seen that. I've seen that a long time ago. Video toy guy. I don't see much of a problem with it if you're doing it for collecting, but if you're doing it for reselling only, then I got a problem with it. I got a contact at our dollar tree. Fair enough. And well said. What do you guys think about that? Uh, Frank, well, it depends on what you mean by plugs, because I've become friends with some employees, but they don't go out of their way to make sure I'm first. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's, um, I don't know. My definition of a plug is an employee who's friends with you that goes through the stuff first, pulls the stuff that you want out, hides it off to the side, you know, supers, chases, things of that nature. That's kind of what I consider a plug. Uh, first, I just got offered the other day to get calls or texts when new stuff comes in. I didn't ask. Uh, it was offered. I turned it down. The stalker and I have run into each other a lot now. Uh, cool diecast. I, I do have a little store by my house that restocks Hot Wheels all the time, but not a lot of collectors. So I uh, so there, uh, a lot of collectors go there, so, so I get some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, F that. <laughs> uh, paid plug might be like it for more resellers. Yeah, I don't see... I'm sure it happens, but I don't see... I don't see a true collector paying... Paying employees to be a plug. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't see it. I see a scalper doing that because in turn they're investing a little bit of money to get the stuff that they want and then they're going to get a return on it when they sell the stuff. That's that's how I feel about it. Do you guys agree? I do I do know some employees blacklist customers if you make a mess in there in your rude definitely aren't going to let you go through no stuff. Yep, that's a lot of stores. That's a lot of stores around me. That's why I always encourage you guys if you guys want to keep Keep your good faith with stores. Don't make a mess. Offer to stock. Fill out surveys. Do everything you can to help those people out. Uh, Vic, what's up, buddy? Congratulations on your find you told me about today. 
Uh, Doug says the scalpers here are ridiculous. They take everything and then you get the same 10 fantasy cards. Yeah, frustrating. My definition of a plug is something different. <laughs> yeah. Kind of makes that sound. Uh, it's cheating. Uh, do I wish I had a plug? Sure, but it's not right. Yeah. I would think a plug would be somebody at a store that guarantees you get first dibs. Mike Frisco, pretty much. I think that's a place where we all strive to be, Subi. <laughs> I'm just glad I've gotten to the point where I'm satisfied with what I have. So I, if I get lucky with drops, so be it. Yeah, geez. I'm begging for that day to happen. But Mattel's got to stop coming out with such good stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Josh, I made friends with Walmart toy department manager who also collects but doesn't hide anything from me or himself. He and I have both lost out at that store. Uh, Steve, I agree with your interpretation, Derek. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I mean, I can see, like, yeah, I mean, somebody that guarantees you, you know, first dibs at stuff could be a plug, but yeah, it's just, yeah. I don't know. I hear plug and I just think that other YouTuber that's already been mentioned because <laughs> he, he yells it all over the place. Unless it's a 22B, that's a whole other story. <laughs> hey, man, we all got our car. We all got our car. You, you all know what mine is. Uh, I actually made some cool friends at a couple of targets where the stalkers are pretty cool and have warned me of certain people that make a mess so they won't stalk until they leave. Nice. Very nice. I want to get more context to where I know when to come in and to beat the scalpers on the good stuff. You can uh, you can accomplish that just by um, just by doing your you know doing some homework and figuring out what days the stores like are likely to stock. What what are their stock days? What are their stock times? And then try to be there at that time. Um, yeah, you don't necessarily need a, need a inside plug for that. Walmart target, you know, their, their stocking times, their stocking days are all over the place. You know, they're major retailers, so they get stuff in every single day. Um, but yeah, there's at least five guys here on YouTube that grease employees to get all the good stuff. <laughs> Not sure if I want to know who they are. It might be somebody I watch. Uh, Mikey, it takes the fun out of the hunt. If you have the answers, you won't learn. If you know what you're getting for Christmas, there's no surprise. That's well said. That's very well said. Uh, cool diecast, Dirk. Uh, what is one of the main cards you're looking forward to coming out? I am looking forward to the Mountain Drifter set. Still have not seen a single one, uh, especially the R34. Hopefully the Chase won't hold my breath about it. Um, and then very excited for the next Exotic Envy with that Lamborghini Ascenza SCB-12. Yes, indeed. Fair enough, Adrian. I'm not going to detail about who those people are, but they're out there. Yep. <laughs> Leave the shells better than you found them. That's a good way to get uh, in a good relationship with uh, with the store. Uh, first, I don't know how to feel about it. And if the employee that you've been talking to talking with offered to text you, would you take them up on it? I don't know. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you that I would just say no um, because my area is extremely hard to hunt in. Um, but would I, would I, would I, would I ploy that on an employee to text me like, Hey man, if I give you my number, will you, will you text me to, to come in? No, I wouldn't do that. Um, I wouldn't put that out there, but gosh, it, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, my area is extremely hard to hunt in. So I know that there's guys around me that do it. Whether I would do it or not, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. 
I don't know. Hopefully it never happens. <laughs> Uh, if they're letting me on the, if they're letting me when the when the truck arrives, yes. If they're withholding, no. Uh, James says hot, uh, hot Wheels come in so random at the shops here. As soon as I get to the shops, it goes on pegs. First come, first serve. Uh, Super Bear, what if the person you've known for years and they began working at a place that you go hunting frequently? Hmm. Well, see, that's a problem. Or, well, that's an easy answer because my only collecting buddy is Bill. <laughs> that's literally, uh, that's literally it in my immediate area. Um, there are there are others uh, like Frank Camacho, but he's two and a half hours south, two hours south. Um, but yeah, like that's an easy question, you know, and Bill drives for a lift. He's not, I don't think he's going to give that up. <laughs> so easy answer for me. Yeah, no, I mean, no, it's not going to happen. Uh, Steve, if, uh, if it is offered in good faith, I do not see an occasional bit of a heads up. Fair enough. Fair enough. Cause I mean, let's face it guys. I mean, if you live in a big metropolis with a lot of collectors, a lot of resellers, a lot of scalpers, um, I mean, would you would you take all the help that you can get? You know, um, I just want to know how far you guys would go. I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Um, you know, I've gone to many stores, many stores. Um, a lot of people don't like. You know, a lot of people look down on asking for stock. You know, if there's none out. Um, you know, I necessarily don't, I guess it's all opinionated. I mean, it depends on, depends on what you see as fair. Um, you know, what's an advantage, what's a disadvantage. I don't see a problem with asking. Some people think there's a problem with asking. Uh, like I said, basically I, a couple years ago, I came to the realization when I started finding supers that I have to play the same game that my competition does, which means asking. Um, if I don't, I'm going to go two or three months without finding any, you know, any super, you know, supers are not all I collect. You know, a lot of people get the impression that that's all I collect. But if I, if I don't ask, I, I, I would not be finding supers. I wouldn't be finding supers at the rate I ask or at, at the rate I do now. That's just, that's point blank. Um, it would be probably one every two, three, four months. That was my average before I started asking, uh, I would usually find a super about every two or three months. So, and that, that, that goes back to when I started filming. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier hunt episodes, when I find supers, I'm like, man, this is the first one in two or three months. This is the first one in two months. Finally, two months, two months streak broken. That's when I wasn't asking. So in, in reality, it all depends. Like, Going back to the question, would you, if somebody offered you, hey man, give me your number, I'll text you when new stuff comes in, would I do that? I wouldn't actively pursue that, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of just content of where I'm at now. I just go out and I hunt. If the pegs are empty, I'll go out, I'll ask if they got anything else to put out. And, you know, sometimes I find stuff, sometimes I don't. You know, honestly, I'm good with that. But I sure as hell ain't going to pay nobody to text me and, and let me know when stuff's coming in and all that stuff. Uh, Mike, you just want a level playing field. Doug, yes. <laughs> I have to say that. It's a total rush to beat scalpers. <laughs> when says L.A. Cali is cutthroat. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what the saying, Derek? You got you got to take care of your clients. Your clients. He's got clients. He runs a business. He's got clients. He's got men in business suits and briefcases full of money. Give me those Hot Wheels. Here's your money. Got clients. <laughs> uh, I did check into his channel, and uh, 
yeah, he's over 3,000 subs, man. I don't know what the hell's going on, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on. I think if you just make a channel, if you just make a, make a hunting channel, you're going to get subs. I'm just kind of like that's where it's at. <laughs> he's a customizer. Oh, wait, Derek does it all. <laughs> no, I was only a collector. I just do peg hunting crap. That's it. Uh, most annoying thing uh, I find when hunting are people getting right on top of me while I'm looking through the cars. Like I got here first. Let me look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's annoying. The answer is it all depends on who you ask. Yep. That's it. That's it. You ask 10 people, you'll probably get eight or 10 different answers. Uh, Chris says, uh, to save time, gas and mileage on my car just to get one of the things I want at the end of the, and end the trips per week? Probably yes, now that I think about it. That's probably a strong factor, too. It's just the gas prices. Uh, just talk, This is great right here. Uh, just talking to employees, they'll, they'll sometimes just offer the info. I hate to bug people, so it's kind of hard for me to ask, but I have on a few, um, <clears throat> on a few occasions. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes if you just ask for stock and they say, no, we ain't got nothing, but uh, Tuesday we're supposed to be getting a truck, you know. Ferris says, here's what's funny. I thought about this the other day. Will I ask if there's any new cases in the store? I've cracked several, but never pulled a super from a sealed case. Weird, right? Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> that is weird. Tyler, what's up, buddy? I uh, just hit up a uh, fries with a bunch of fresh stuff. They hit the pegs. Another collector came up to me. I gave him four treasure hunts. He was super shocked and thankful. Nice. What'd you find at fries? What's fries dropping? It's kind of an inside joke, Doug. Um, it refers to another YouTuber who's uh, a very, very proud scalper, and he calls people that he sells cars to clients. Nah, someone else beat me to the client joke. <laughs> it's got clients. Clients. I can't believe that guy has over 3,000 subs now. Can't believe it. It was all E case. Nice. Did you find a super? Still haven't found that bet. You better believe that people who have plug at one store have plugs at many stores. Yeah, that's probably true. Anyone else watching the Nurburgring 24? Yes, I was watch some watch some clips on the ADAC channel yesterday, but uh, I'm not watching it right now. Plugs and plugs are for drugs, and drugs are bad. Okay. How many subs does Ruin the Hobby Guy have? I think he has he has almost three thousand subs, I believe. I'm telling you guys. Telling you guys, you make a peg hunt channel, everybody will subscribe to you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're a freaking dirt bag that resells these or not. You know, you you're gonna get you're gonna get subs. Probably shouldn't be saying that because yeah, but it's the truth, unfortunately. So yeah, let me uh let me share some stuff with you guys real quick. Just going on this topic. Let me see if I can bring this up real quick. Share. Slides. Let me see if I can, let's see here. Decent. Downloads. There we go. Maybe I can. Oh, it's not going to let me share it like that. What? Uh... Well, that sucks. Uh, 
Uh, video toy guy, yeah. I still need the E case vet super. Okay, let me just share it this way, guys. Hold on one second. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can open this up and let me see if this shows. There it is. Okay, so this was shared to me. <clears throat> this is just a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little share. Uh, if I remember right, Joey Eli uh, sent this to me, but yeah, this, uh, this, this site never fails, never fails on Facebook. Uh, $80 for the Mercedes Chase. <laughs> $80. I picked that up for 30 bucks from my uh from my local diecast store. The premium chases are not going for that yet. So, don't be paying that kind of money for them, okay? Uh, let me see here. Let me go back. But this was kind of going on. Going on our plugs. So, guys, plugs goes a lot deeper. <clears throat> plugs goes a lot deeper than. Than just stores. And I'm sorry if this is. <clears throat> oh, Lord. 713 says the Liberty Walk Chase is already selling for 180 bucks on eBay. Don't pay that. Do not. Oliver in the hobby and sell it for 79. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Okay. So going back to plugs. This is on another Facebook group. So, plugs goes a lot deeper than stores, guys. This person, if you've been around long enough, you can have lots of connections all the way to the factory itself. Wink. The guy below, workers that put them in their lunchbox. This guy right here. This is exactly what my guy does. This is exactly what my guy does. This guy has a connection at the factory. Definitely someone who knows the inside worker on the line. So guys, we're not just talking. We're not just talking about uh, plugs at the stores. We're talking about plugs at the factory. And we all knew that it was possible, but... What do you guys think about that? One guy admitting right there that he has a that he has a plug of the factory. If you've been around long enough, you can get a plug at the factory. <laughs> oh man. Just that whole attitude, God, that just bugs the crap out of me. It really does. You know. I always talk about the guy, you know, you rookies this and you rookies that. And, you know, and now this guy's saying, if you've been around long enough, you can get a plug straight at the factory. That's what my guy does. And, uh, no, he has to sell it for a hundred bucks. Otherwise he's going to ruin the hobby and take food off someone's table, Derek. How the hell did he sell it for 79? <laughs> You're ruining the hobby. At the factory, cross the line. Been around long enough equals give enough money too. I just sent you an example of another scalper. Let me check it real quick. All right, just kind of coinciding here with the scalper topic, I guess. <coughs> uh, 
<coughs> Superbird just sent this to me. There's a guy here that consistently buys all the main lines and sells them for $5 a piece. It makes hunting here even tougher than it has to be. So it's just red prelude main line, main line supers, five bucks a piece. Mm -mm -mm. Can't tell you how many of those I found. But yeah, that's insane. Getting a, getting a, uh, a real job sounds easier. <laughs> Frank Camacho, uh, Derek, hate to say it, but don't get an IG account. It'll piss you off because some of these guys buy cases of super straight from Malaysia only to raffle them. It's crazy how many people do this. Yes. Yes. And I, I know exactly one raffle group that definitely does that. Total dirtbag group. Uh, seven one three. Just remember, the new Civic Super was reselling for high price high price before it's releasing. It's still a hundred hundred plus bucks after being released. Yeah, yeah. That that's a hundred bucks right there, guys. Woohoo! Rich. Ugh, so stupid. I don't know how people see money. Not cool, but corruption is on every level. I'm trying to resell basic mainlines for less than retail, and people are coming at me at 40 cents each. <laughs> 69, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, Frank says, at first, don't be discouraged because there are tons of good collectors and customizers on there. Nice. Yeah, the inmates running the asylum dirty. <laughs> yeah, guys, man. So yeah, plugs just goes deeper than than stores. And now you know now you know how a lot of these raffle guys get all these loose supers and carded supers, and you know they got so many of them for for sale. And and yeah. These clowns are getting five times retail. What WTF? <laughs> yeah, for basic mainline. I can honestly see the 510 and the EK9 super staying at uh, 100 bucks level for a while. They're really nice sought after cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they will go up too, unfortunately. Uh, Vic, I wasn't interested. Be interested, to be honest with you. The people buying those unreleased supers on Instagram are what encouraged me to make my video on scalpers. Amen. 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 You guys are supporting a bad business by being on those groups, I'm telling you. Uh, Tyler, you guys had any luck with the new, newest Target Reds? People still trying to sell them for way too much. Yeah, I actually just got to another hit the other day. So, didn't take them. Didn't take them, but they're they're dropping. I'm telling you guys, the 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 reds, the reds come in multiple waves. It's not just one and done. Plugs definitely takes fun out of the hobby. Factory theft, not cool. Just in it for the fun. Don't overpay. Amen. Uh, it was uh, Gilbert Noctil, no uh, Gilbert and Jermaine, I believe. It's really not hard to figure out what's happening when short card supers are showing up in the U.S. way before cases are even released. Yes, that is it. Ding, ding, ding. Sometimes those groups have decent sellers. Most of the time, though, it's garbage. Yeah. Yep. If you guys buy off the second-hand market, you really got to be careful of who you support. You really do. I wish those reds would show up. Still no sign here. <clears throat> They're coming. They're coming. So keep checking. Damn, that's my store. <laughs> that's my store too. <laughs> that's my closest one.
yeah, that's, I'm not sure you're going to find anything. I mean, it's, things really sit on the pegs here for an hour. I won't overpay. I won't overpay for the uh, Silverado Red. Yeah, don't. Please don't. It's not worth supers. It's not worth RLCs. It's not worth thirty bucks a pop. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Just don't. Ferris, me too. Derek Alleged has a set for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Tyler, yeah, just keep checking, man. I'm telling you, the reds they drop in waves. They it's not just one and done. They they come again and again. So that's why I'll, <clears throat> all these resellers, you know, trying to take advantage of people. You know, it's, it's just annoying. It's annoying. So yeah, guys. That's really all I had for you. Open discussion now. If you guys want to talk about a certain subject, let me know. Let me know. We can talk about whatever. My pleasure, my friend. My pleasure. Midnight Deadcast, what is up? Thanks for tuning in. Still got your package. I will send it when I can, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, shipping to the EU is not cheap. Honestly, I'm getting a box together for Diecast Dude right now that I'm going to send out to him, and then I'll probably send yours out at the same time. Uh, I'm excited for the upcoming CUDA Top Fuel Drag Port. Uh, dra or, bleh, top Fuel Transport set coming out based on the very famous drag card. Nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for that R34 Transport. That S15 HKS, if I can ever find it. A lot of people asking about the BAPE. Did not go for the BAPE. Not my deal. Uh, Jeff says, for those, of us, for those of us in the north, getting reds is hard. Need contacts down south. Lucky for you, you got one, pal. <laughs> I got you squared away. That's a good question, Mikey. Sketchy, uh, catching sketchy employees. Do you tattle? I would. I would. I would. Would you? If you saw an employee going through stuff and taking stuff out, would you tattle? I would. I would. That's unfair. People getting jobs at stores just so they can get to the stuff first. That's sad. Uh, Felipe had good luck a few weeks ago. Went to the local convenience store and the stalker was organizing a fresh H case. No super, but finally got the F1 GTR. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see H come out for sure. Uh, Doug, what customs are you working on now? Uh, I am working on some. Uh, I have a 993 GT2 sitting outside in the heat, uh, even though the sun's down. It's still hot out there. Um, that is if I'm happy with it, because I'm not really happy with it right now. So I might strip it and start all over again. I hope I hope I don't have to, but I might. Um, but that's intended to be my entry into uh, WW Replica's Pete's uh, Porsche Camaro build off. That is that that's what that is intended to be. And then I have these two, which hopefully I'll be finishing up this weekend. Probably can't see them very well. But yeah. Little father son action, Silverado action. How about that, huh? Yeah, that, that'll be cool. <laughs> and then I did finish these up. Obviously, I showed these up last episode, but these were a tribute to the um to the Bathurst 12 hours. These two cars right here. If it focuses, which is not going to, of course. But yeah, Audi R8, that one came out really well. And AMG GT3, Merc. So, just working on those. Other than that, I got a couple other little projects here. I haven't started anybody else's customs yet because I just haven't had time. 
but um, I still got quite a list. But I'm getting people knocked out little by little. I got another one out in the mail today. Um, so yeah, I'm getting really excited because my my list is getting shorter and shorter, and I'm very very excited. Those would be cool with martini graphics. Yeah, they would. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff from WW Repcos made those uh, made those decals for me. I'm sure I'll get the mark. Let's see if I get the mark to to focus. Yeah, just not one to focus very much. There we go. So you can see the HD logo. That 27 he didn't make. That's a different one, but he did make those those racing panels. Jeff, I definitely want more of those. Um, those racing tags for the doors and like maybe some different colors, but man, I love those things. Came out really good. Yeah. This one, this one came out peachy, man. I love that thing. Came out good. Van Looney. What's up guys? Scored an M2 blazer chase tonight. Missed the C mix Bronco at uh, Kroger by about a half hour. Nice man. Very nice. This is why supers are so scarce because they take them off the line before they even get packaged sad. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because keep in mind, keep in mind Mattel only makes a certain amount of supers a year. Every single different one. They only make a certain amount. So if they're getting taken off of the assembly line, guess what? Tough poop because they're not going to be in the cases where they belong. So it's going to make them even harder to find. That's why you get a lot of these like one for 10 case drops or zero for 10. You know, it's hard, man. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, S15 Transport. Joey Eli is helping me out with some, but I will definitely still take help with those even more. I will. Because I got a lot of plans for those. The Huda Pig. Yes, the Huda Pegasus. I have seen it. It is amazing, and I cannot wait to see that. In action. I've, ta I've tattled before on the guy who works at Arizona Ave in Chandler Heights. He was hiding supers in the back. One of his workers brought him out to me. Really? Wait a minute. Are you talking about... Um, are you talking about Arizona Ave and Ocotillo Target? That's my other store. You talking about that one? There's an inside job there? Wow. Wow, interesting. You don't answer your emails, ha. Huh? <laughs> I'm terrible at emails. Anybody who's emailed me can attest to that. I'm terrible at emails. Jeff, if you don't mind, just message me on Facebook Messenger. I respond way better that way. Way better. Way better. But I'll check my email. I promise. I'm sorry. Uh, cool diecast for generic decals. I order off of eBay. I order from Mod My Ride. Or Jeff from WW Repcus, who's in the chat right now, has helped me tremendously with water slide decals. Um, you kind of, with him, you got to kind of hit him up and ask him, you know, ask him, you know, brainstorm a little bit. And he'll try to help you out. But um, he's got a large workload, so I'm not sure what, what his downtime will be. Target. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Arizona have an Octio. Yeah. Uh, 69 Stingray asking Jeff, can you make some decals for me? You guys think you have a heart out there, Derek, cause you have a small, you have that small that has diecast store plus they have shows or whatever every weekend. Uh, oh, you're talking about the Superstition Springs uh, diecast show. Yeah, I rarely go to that though. Uh, I'm more inclined to drive all the way to Phoenix and go to Cubby Hole. Yes, I do work for fellow Canadians. <laughs> we'll work for fellow Canadians. Gotcha. I saw four HKSS 15s at Target on Friday. Nice. 
Nice. The only one that I've seen from that transport mix is the Merc, and I picked it up. And that's the only one I've seen in the store so far. I hope those weren't Derek Supers. <laughs> what? What Supers? Oh, you're talking about like the inside job or the plugs of the factory. <laughs> how to mod my mod my rider? Wait a minute. How to mod my rider package? Lost in the mail, sadly. RWB decals and a few wheels. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, mod my ride does. He does pretty good decals. Uh, he makes a lot of uh, a lot of the sets that I've used before. He's made some martini ones. Um, Jaeger. I ordered my Jaeger decals off of him. Um, very cheap. It's like six bucks. Um, but the best decals I've ever had ever are Jeff from WW Upcos for sure. Ah, that sucks. Same thing happened to me. Ended up arriving three weeks later. Eesh. That sucks. Uh, I just regret not insurance team package for trade that might have been lost with USPS was my only spare selection C10. Ouch, man. I'm sorry to hear. That sucks. That sucks. I sent him an email a year ago, got spiderwebs. Oh, talking about me? <laughs> Damn, a year ago? My bad. Yeah, I'm terrible. I would be the first one to tell you I'm terrible with emails. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, wow. Scored the Black R34 Chase. So stoked. It was cool to find something. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, I certainly hope to be able to find that. I hope to be able to find that C63 Merc so I can open one. Um, definitely a couple of those R34s. Yeah, just the premium chases, man. They're hard to find, I'm telling you. At least around my parts. Edward, what is up? Eddie G in the house. Uh, WW Request, what's the best way to reach you if you're up for it? Do you want to overload you? I could probably answer that question for him. Uh, probably go on the Facebook page, WW Replicas, and uh, send him a message on Facebook Messenger. I have a C63 Merc I'm willing to trade. I'm up for that, Jeff. And even regardless of what I just said, if you want to email me, <laughs> email me. Let me know what you're looking for. Uh, maybe we can work something out. Because, yeah, I would definitely like another one to open because I am opening all of my premium my premium chases. I do have my my, C, my C8R is up in the Supers display case right above my head. That's, of course, uh, out of sight. What do you want? I always have good luck with premium. Still have that Porsche for you, too. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just looking for S15 transport and mountain drifters. That's about it right now. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot, Mikey. I'm terrible at emailing. Email me. <laughs> sorry, man. I'm sorry. I suck at emails. Edward, harmonica noise. <laughs> yeah. Eddie G's, uh, is, uh, his trademark is the harmonica. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Derek, the real question is, if I or you, whomever made custom supers for 20 bucks, would people want them or, or rather be upset with not finding them in the wild? Is, is it all about the hunt or is it about the carb? That's a good question. That's a good question. What do you guys think? Does it have to be a packaged Mattel Super? Does it have to be a factory Super or, you know, people that make knockoff Supers? I made a knockoff Super for Drew, uh, Drew's Diecast. I made him a knockoff 510. And I asked you guys if you guys thought the original was better or that was better. And a lot of you guys said the custom was better. I don't know about fake Supers, man. <laughs> Hey, I don't see a problem with it as long as you're not selling them as supers. As long as you're not selling them as 
factory supers. So I've showed these too many a times. I made these two before. I just realized I got to open this one up and put like a white interior in it to be like the original. But I made these two supers because I wanted Lucy's of these. I still don't have this one loose. But. But yeah, this is that 993 GT2 super knockoff I made. And the wheels are spaced out. It's lowered. Spectra Flame. Spectra Flame Blue. It's got rear tampos. Chrome exhaust. I mean, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Better or worse than the original? What do you think? And then I made this one before I acquired enough of these to crack one, but this is my favorite super of all time, and this one came out pretty good. My beloved 991 GT3 RS super clone. Refocus this. Refocus. This one is lowered. This one is lowered. It has dropped. But yeah, Spectra Flame Purple. Again, rear tampos, front tampos. It's even got a badge on it. Spectra Flame lowered on its friggin' you know what. Came out pretty good. I don't know. I don't see a problem with. <clears throat> I don't see a problem with making super clones. As long as you don't try to sell them for actual real supers. So. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> clones for you, fine, but selling them as supers, not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't make super clones and sell them as legit supers, you know, but. And don't be one of those guys that freaking takes a mainline version of a super and then just wheel swaps it and says super clone. It's it's not it's not really. Transports are all over here. If you need some help, email me. Thanks, Van. Appreciate it. I like his haircut. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> if it's not legit, it's just not the same. But that's just my preference. Different kind of cool when they're customized, though. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, it's just like a super, but it's you know more detailed than. <clears throat> Do you collect any of the Lego Speed Champions? I don't. Super clone, ha! <laughs> I'm working on the decals now. Trademarked. <laughs> nice, nice. Let me know what you come up with. I'd rather have the nicer custom clone, honestly. Nice. If it wasn't for my bad luck with them two-pack Nismos, I haven't found Nathan, bro. <laughs> I like you cut, G. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's about time, man. It's like three we going on three weeks. It sure was fun making the replica of that EK. Yeah, I was actually I was actually thinking about doing a replica EK, EK9 super. But I kind of don't have to because I already got already got a loose one up there now. <clears throat> as long as it's what you like and you're not hurting anyone, then who cares? If it makes you happy, then no one else's opinion should matter to you. Amen. I don't see a problem with making or even selling super clones. It's just not for me. That is all. Well, just for that, I'm going to send you a super clone so you can eat your words, pal. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Thanks, MHD. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, I like, uh, I like making super clones. I like... Uh, Obviously, that Firebird, the Jags Firebird that I did, um, kind of a that's kind of fun too. Is taking taking a theme of a super and applying it to another car that is not the actual super and making that a super that was kind of fun. Um, I'm actually really excited to 
I'm excited. To, I have an idea. I want to do the latest five tenth super decals on a wagon. I want to make a wagon version of it. That's kind of an idea that I have, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. Are super clones ruining the hobby? <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Only if you sell them for ninety nine dollars, they have to be a hundred bucks. <laughs> Uh, Mushtaq Khan. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, hi, I've been collecting for six months now based in Ontario, Canada. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so far I haven't been able to find any supers. Any tips? Thanks in advance. Yeah, I'm going to make a video because a lot of people ask. A lot of people ask and I just, um, I keep handing out the same advice over and over again. So maybe like a reference video would be good. But, um, uh, Mr. Khan, it is all about... It's all about finding, uh, doing a little bit of research and finding out when your store stock, what days, what times do they typically stock, um, and can you be there when that happens? Uh, so like Walmart and Target, you're not really going to nail down a specific day, but usually you can nail down times. Um, <laughs> Steve Bricker says move out of Canada. <laughs> now, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Move out of Canada. Uh, Chris Davis, yes, 510 wagon super imposter. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an idea I had. I got decals. Uh, Leander, hello, my friend. How are you? Doing excellent, my friend. How are you? No, I mean, I wouldn't buy one. I'm working on a 2020 Corvette Cologne now. <laughs> nice. Nice. Eager to see how that comes out. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, Mushtaq Khan, um, yeah, it, that, that's the biggest the biggest part of it. The biggest battle is finding the typical stocking times of the stores and being there at that time, being the first one there at that time. Um, the next piece of advice I would give you is don't be like a lot of people and invest all your time in Walmart. Don't do it. I don't know all of the chains that you have available to you up there in Canada. But that's the thing a lot of people do in the U.S. They invest all their time at Walmarts. They're there at night when the pallets are pulled, camping out, waiting for stuff to get pulled out. I gave that up a long time ago. I haven't found a super locally in almost two years. Uh, but I still find a lot of supers. And that's because I invest my time in other stores. So definitely do, do your research. And another piece of advice I can give you that's been successful for me is to travel on roads less traveled. Travel roads less traveled. If you can travel out of town, places that aren't visited as much, as populated, usually you can come up with some good finds. So I hope that helps. Um, I was actually thinking about that, Peyton. You should wheel swap the Mystery Model 510. It would look sick. Yes. Yes, I was actually thinking about putting these wheels on. Some goldies. I know it's not focusing, but <clears throat> thinking about that. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. 69 Stingray. Think Derek still paints with dupe color metal cast red. Correct. Correct. That excuse me. Whew. That's how I do all of my Spectra Flame. I am still I'm still a rattle canner. I don't have an airbrush. I don't own an airbrush. Um, I still do all my painting with with rattle cans. So, um, and that's how I do my my Spectra Flame is Dupacolor Metal Cast. You don't have many choices, but you have enough. You definitely have enough. Five Ten Super Wagon sounds bootyful. Yeah, yeah. I actually want to get some of the old Red Wagon decals and do do a knockoff of that Super as well. So I can display that. At least don't move to where I live, huh? <laughs> Sorry, don't move to Northern Ontario. <laughs> uh, it's about the car with the hunt. My, uh, it's about the car with the hunt, in my opinion. Uh, no, I do, huh? Thank you. 
Sweet Porsche Super Treasure Hunt replica better than the OG. Thank you. Appreciate that. Nitrous, what's up? He's back. Uh, Target, Dollar Generals, Walgreens, Dollar Trees. Yes. Yes. And don't forget 99 cent only if you have them. Uh, Dollarama, which we don't have, but a lot of people do. Uh, check those stores. Check those stores. You're not going to get... You're not going to get the, usually you're not going to get the big mega hit, you know, that everybody talks about at Wal at Walmart, you know, they pull out 10 cases and some guy pulls eight supers. You're not going to get that kind of hit. But if you're happy and you're content with finding one, maybe two, you know, things like that, concentrate on your grocery stores, your Dollar Trees, your Dollar Stores, just give, the, give, give them a shot. And if that fails, roads less traveled. Uh, we will be wrapping up soon, but Jet Young, thank you for tuning in. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Van Looney, uh, hey, Derek, question for general discussion. If you choose, what's the most amount of cases opened? Uh, anyone opened and not located a super? I'm about 45F. No supers. Just wondering. Holy cow. 45. Man, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, Oh gosh. I've had I've had some hard problems with E this year, but it's nowhere near that and it's not the worst. Um I'm going on I think I'm on 17 or 18 E cases cracked. No E case super, no no vet. Um I can tell you that C case last year was extremely difficult for me. I was well over 35 cases on on the uh, Roger Dodger Super before I found it. So that was a very hard one. B case two, multiple shippers, over 30 cases cracked. Never even found it in a B case. It was actually in a C case, which is why I tell you to always check for previous case super. Uh, F case last year was really hard for me. I finally found that one. I don't remember where I was at on case count on that. Um, the Sesto from 2020. The Sesto was really, really hard. I never found that one. Never found that one. But I wasn't keeping count of cases, but I can tell you it was a lot. It was a lot. So, but yeah, my, my buddy Brian down in Texas, uh, he... Man, he keeps count of his cases, and man, he he goes through a lot of cases with no hits. And I feel so bad for him sometimes, but yeah, I can feel that pain for sure. Uh, Chris Davis, don't be afraid to look at weird stores for Hot Wheels. Some gas stations have them. Yeah, gas stations. Uh, Cracker Barrel, Cracker Barrel will get them sometimes. The, uh, Cracker Barrel used to be the only place you can get three packs. Doing an out-of-town hunt my, tomorrow myself. Good luck, Tyler. Care to share where you're going? <laughs> my pleasure, Mushtaq. Uh, happy hunting, and I hope that helps, my friend. But, yeah, just do a little bit of research. Kind of try to try to time the typical stock days and the stock times, and that will help you out greatly. That's part of the battle. <laughs> Yes, move from Canada. Don't stop in Wisconsin because the diecast mafia is rife in the land of cheese. Oh boy. Terrible. <laughs> uh Peyton's Diecast, what's your most prized possession in my collection? My most prized po prized possession. This is my this is the grail of my collection currently right now. absolutely love this car love the martini livery everything about it everything about it and if you guys saw my community post this is the same car that hot wheels would be making a casting out of if that legends tour winner wins it's the same car i mean granted it's not going to be this insanely detailed but still you know we still get the car in the hot wheels lineup so this is a 997 porsche liberty walk widebody 
So make sure you vote for that car for Legends Tour. Don't vote for some some goofy car. <laughs> Don't vote for no two Jet Zs. Vote for please, please vote for that car because I want I want Hot Wheels to come out of that casting so bad. Oh, nice. Looks to be a really good five pack coming out called uh, Hot Wheels Exposed Engines. There's a Corvette in it. Nice. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it'll have a Roger Dodger in that, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. What car did it hurt the most for you to open up out of the case? Uh, ooh, probably, hmm, maybe the first Super I ever cracked, maybe? Maybe? Which, if I remember right, was the 60, or no, what was it? It was the red Corvette in 2018, which was F case, if I remember right. Yeah, my buddy Clint, he sent that to me because he wanted me to, to wheel swap it and do some custom stuff to it, which I did. And that was, if I remember right, that was the first Super I opened and drilled. And it's probably going to be the last Super I ever drilled. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Midnight Diecast Project, how can I reach you about some Red Bull decals? I'm painting them freehand on cars. Wow. <coughs> that takes some skill. I did a little bit of freehand paint today, and it did not come out that great. And there were just stripes at that. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I want to make a clone of the red Audi wagon super from a couple years ago and not put Aerodis on it. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the uh, the RS6 Avant super. Yes, yes, do it. Yeah, I got it way over here. Yeah, it's going to be out of view. But, yeah, I got one of those on card, and I, yeah, that's a good idea, Ferris. I'm going to copy you. <laughs> I'm going to copy you. Actually... I have this, I have this one that I want to, I want to put a metal base on it. I want to wheel swap it and I want to detail it. So I'm going to do that because I've already drilled. Yeah, I've already drilled one of the premium ones for the wheels and I got the body still. So yeah. Uh, yeah, right along with what I said, Adam and, uh, dollar stores and grocery stores can be good, but they don't stock nearly as often as the big, as the big box or the big stores, you know? Yeah. Dang. I thought I was set after 12 F cases and nothing. <laughs> oh yeah. It gets bad. It gets bad. It gets really bad. You'll get in the thirties, forties with some of these cases. Uh, Ferris, Chris, I have to politely disagree. I wonder if they're talking about the Audi, talking about the Audi RS uh, Six Avant, with not having, uh, not having the turbo blades or whatever they are on there. That's cool. Got lucky finding the Cesta Super in a freshly filled dump in at Walmart. Yeah, I got footage twice. I landed a, I landed a drop at a fries twice. Just a dump bin, so four cases of J, and both times, no Sesto Supers and two Bone Shaker IDs, two out of four hit Bone Shaker IDs. I was just like, oh, man, this is impossible. I accept your rejection, even if it hurts. <laughs> Mikey, you're entitled to your entitled to your opinions. You're wrong opinions. Joking. <laughs> That Audi was sweet. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have a problem with the turbo fan wheels on there, but it'd be cool to see something else. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, Ferris, you really got my gear spinning about making a super knockoff of that. Here comes the Martini Porsche. <laughs> you knew it. Yeah, pig this, pig that. Yeah, pig, pig. <laughs> Damn, Derek, that Porsche is dirty. Wow, yes. Timothy and Pierre for the win. The only thing bad about Timothy and Pierre, doesn't roll. But Fumi Model doesn't make newer model Porsches. 
they make a, a lot of 930s, 993s, um, 964 body styles. Nice. It's actually on a game. Nice. Gonna drill some Porsches after this show. Thanks, Derek. That Martini Porsche inspired me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That thing's a beaut, man. <clears throat> so I'm saying, guys, please vote for vote for the 997 Liberty Walk Porsche, the dark gray one for Legends Tour when the voting comes out. A lot of people have been asking me when the voting comes out. You should be able to vote at the show if you go to the show. If you don't go to the show, you should be able to vote for um, Legends Tour cars online towards the end of the tour. So keep that in mind. going to clone my clone. <laughs> I have a couple premiums of the blue mainline. Nice. <clears throat> nice. I'll have a loose a loose kidney or something the day the 22B Super is released. I have a feeling it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's going to be a damn good Super, too. <clears throat> Maybe I can do a chat with Derek again sometime to talk about more decal ideas with the group. Yes. Would you like to come on next week? I will get you on again, Jeff. A lot of people like that last uh, that last episode. Uh, 69, th this is a good question for Jeff. How hard would it be to design decals for a Matchbox Lamborghini Mira? I have one need decals for the badging on it. Nice. Yeah, Jeff might be able to answer that. He's probably already got a Lamborghini file, probably. If you want to hear my voice hit an octave I didn't know existed, <laughs> watch me find that Cesta Super. Random family dollar shipper at the time I didn't even know it was the right case. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I've heard... Especially when you found the duck and roll, I I heard an oct an octave that almost the dog could only hear. Almost. Almost. <laughs> um that's a good question, uh Leando. What's your favorite skyline? Well, I do know I am most fond of the R thirty fours. Um, but which one is my fave? Ooh. I don't know. I like the super. Um, I definitely like the Nismo one. I definitely like the clean blue Fast and Furious one, just the plain Jane one. I really, really love that one. Um, the box, I love, God, I love them all, man. I can't pick a favorite. But I can tell you which one will probably make a run for it. That Chrome RLC one will probably make a run for my favorite Skyline. Um, and <clears throat> that in mind, probably the two, R the two RLCs, love those. I don't know. Maybe the purple RLC might be my favorite one. The membership card. <laughs> Josh is still here. The Legends Tour one, of course. Yeah, this one's definitely nice. Definitely up there. For sure. Damn, thanks, Josh. Yeah, that's freaking epic. You're a legend, as you always say. <laughs> A lot of people say an R33. Yeah, I love R33s as well. <clears throat> so my favorites are probably, if we're talking Hot Wheels castings, Mattel castings, definitely R34 is my favorite. Probably R35 Liberty Walk is my second favorite, then R33, then our regular R35, and then R32, probably. <clears throat> That's probably the order that they're going in. Probably. Please don't subs unsubscribe for me if, if you don't like my choice. <laughs> <clears throat> you got to respect the fab that went into that two jet Z though. For reals, if you're a car enthusiast or a fabricator, I'm all upset. Yeah, the fabrication X aspect is great, but I mean, just think of it from a diecast collector perspective, though. You know, what I mean, do you really want to collect it? I mean. Mm. Mm. 997 Liberty Walk all day, all day, every day. 
Trash the Skylines, RWB all day, every day. <laughs> there we go. Portion the house. R34 all day. In real life, it's R33. Castings, it's R34. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, I love all Skylines. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually, oh, that's right, because I, if you guys can't tell, I rearranged stuff a little bit. I put all portion in this, in this shipper, um, put some different supers in here, some different castings down here, kind of move some over a little bit. Just trying to get this place rearranged, man. It's terrible. It's terrible. I can barely walk around here. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? Oh. The purple R33 mainline. I definitely want to. I definitely want to do a base swap and a wheel swap on one of those. Definitely for sure. Definitely for sure. What's that orange car off to your right side? So you're looking at me right side. Orange cart off to your right side. Oh, you're talking about my right side. Uh. Talk about that one. That's the 53rd uh, 53rd anniversary set uh, Porsche. Yeah, you got that one sitting up there. Uh, Midnight man, the show has great vibes. Going to paint some customs while watching. Sweet, thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll go for a few more minutes. We're over two hours already, but I'm enjoying talking to you guys. Uh, GTR R34 V Spec 2 Nerf since it was released in 2000, year I was born. Nice. Really? You're that you're that young, 69? Wow. Really? You're only 22, 69? Wow. Why was I thinking you're an older gym, man? Gilbert, what's up? Bro, hello, you're doing great. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Uh, Jeff, check your email. Might want to show the group. Copy that. Let's do it. This message brought to you by Jeff from WW Replicas. Let's check email and see what he sent and say he wants to share it with you guys too. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that, guys. There's a file that Jeff is working on right there. Look at that. So that, that's kind of like a custom, uh, what? <clears throat> so it's number 27, Kaido House. So is that meant to be... Well, the Legends Tour one is different number. I think it's the box set. I think it's the box set 510 that this is made after, but he put 27 because that's my favorite number. My favorite number is 27. Nice. Very nice, Jeff. I like it. I like it. Let me guess. You just threw this together during this live stream while we were talking about it, didn't you? <laughs> nice. Nice. All wagons much excite. <clears throat> I'm not a doctor. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, what casting you want as a super? Um, I would like to see a 935. I would like to see a 935. I would like to see a, another 934.5 Porsche super. We haven't had one since 2018. Um, if you ask me, it's going to be all Porsche. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> it's going to be all Porsche. But, uh Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I would definitely like to see. I would definitely like to see a nine three five Porsche for sure. Absolutely, one hundred ten percent. And by the way, this is just a. I'm telling you guys, this the paint on this one looks very spectra flamey. Very spectra flamey. Of course, it's not not going to want to focus now. But this is just a detampoed uh, one of the new. 
blue 935s out of G case. Very, very nice paint. Very nice paint. What's missing, Super Clone? I don't think anything's missing off of that Super Clone, that's for sure. Acura Integra for a Super for me. That's a good one. That's a good one. Decals for Dotsons. Need those. <laughs> I need a Dotson. Uh oh. Wagons for the win. Wagon Brothers. Jeff, you started something. Prepare to get mobbed. <laughs> <clears throat> Make it happen, Derek, aka or aka Mr. Clone. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Yeah. What number was the original Red Wagon Super? That was number was it number zero? Yeah, that, that they have a number zero on it. I can't remember. I don't remember. Ah, Willie's young too. Okay, wow. I am way older than you guys, and I did not expect that. I don't know why. You guys are some babies. Some babies. I was born in 81. 1981. Need more Corvette Supers. I did not expect that coming from you, 69. I think we need some Ferrari Supers. I think we need some Ferraris in general. <laughs> Man. Ferrari is harsh. Ferrari is harsh. So it might not be all Mattel's fault because did you guys hear about all the celebrities that got banned from buying Ferraris? Like Justin Bieber is banned from buying a Ferrari? Like they don't play, man. They don't play. They don't want you to touch their cars. Like you can buy them, but you can't touch them and they better be the right color. And Just man. Man, I, I like Ferrari, but God, they're like the prude of prudes, man. 40 year old Hunter Clow. <laughs> All super cones must come with favorite numbers and name on the side. Copy that. <laughs> OG Hummer H1 casting as a super. Nice. Yeah, I like that idea. Making customs is pure, re pure relaxation. Love it. Yes, it is. Steve Bricker, I was married before 81. <laughs> They are super protective. Yeah, Ferrari. Yeah, from, from what I understand, that's why uh, Hot Wheels lost their license, their license with Ferrari is because uh, they were making the cars like Hot Wheels or Ferrari wanted them to, uh, to make them. So, yeah, just, just yeah, the, the elitist of elite car makers, man. It's just, <laughs> it sucks. Lighten up, Ferrari. Lighten up. We want our castings back. Alfa Romeo supercharger hunt. Nice. Oh, I thought of one. The Jaguar. XESV Project 8. I'd love to see that as a super. That'd be cool. Super underrated casting. Cheap super. It's not all overhyped. You can get one for like 30 bucks. <laughs> The new Lego Ferrari is pretty hot. Yeah, for, uh, Lego will probably lose their Ferrari license because the car looks too blocky. <laughs> Maybe a Benz as a Super would be nice, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing... Um, I wouldn't mind seeing an AMG GT3 Super. That would be cool. I want to see, uh, see more GT and race cars as Supers. That's kind of what I want to see. Wouldn't mind seeing the XESV as well. Dang, you spoiled that. Yeah. <laughs> Super underrated casting. God, that's one of my favorite castings. And I oh, I feel so bad for that car because it's just left. But it's good at the same time because, you know, if the cases drop that where they come out, you know, you can get them, like, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. SC, uh, the Ascenza, yes. As a mainline and a Super, yeah. Honda Odyssey. Uh, 
Uh, I'm a card enthusiast, and that's what fuels my passion for collecting diecast, Derek. So yeah, I collect the two Jet Z. Yep, yep. That's what got me into collecting too. I'm a, I'm a diecast. I'm hardcore into cars, man. Technically, I think Hot Wheels could go behind Ferrari's back and do the full no-stack F12 and Largo since the modified car changes enough. Maybe. They'll probably call it something else, though. Nova Tech. Okay, Nova Tech. I need a new AMG GT Black Series casting. Super treasure on my life or maybe the AMG one. Yeah. Oh, show. Uh, Will says it's just like how Porsche will not allow Has Hasbro to make new the, a new Jazz that uses lice that uses a license as licensed Porsche body. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you gotta disagree. I like the XJ220, but I love the XESV Project Eight. Love that car. I'm not a doctor. Later, gents. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, you enjoyed. I'm not a doctor. Thank you, sir. No. 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 All right, guys, we're going on two hours and 20 minutes. Definitely one of our longer live streams. So thanks for tuning in. Love talking to you guys. Love showing off the mail call. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. I love this whole mail call, man. This whole mail call was great. I cannot believe how many uh, mystery model Porsches. This was my birthday present. Thank you, man. I appreciate it so much. Um, all the shorties, everything, man. Thank you so much. And Skip's diecast. I, I didn't see you tonight, but thanks for uh, thanks for the trade. Really appreciate having that Merc uh, premium chase in. Um, but yeah, awesome mail call. Talk about some good stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to talk about next week. I'm all ears, guys. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. And if you're interested in guest uh, guest hosting on the show, hit me up. Let me know. Be happy to have you on. But uh, it was fun. It was nice. It was nice uh, kind of being center of attention again and being able to really chat with you guys long long distance. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, it'd be fun to see a premium set with the Bugatti EB110, Jag XJ220, and other supercars of the era. Throw Kuntosh in there. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. <clears throat> so, yeah, guys, we'll call it a live. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for uh, joining me on this episode of Diecast Discussion. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, and, yeah, I am working on another hunt episode. I need a lot more footage. It's just been tough hunting uh, between working. But, um... <laughs> Good chatting with the legend himself. Honest clone diecast. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. But yeah, we'll catch you next week on uh, Diecast Discussion. And thanks for tuning in. Thank you again, Josh, for the mail call. Skips Diecast for the trade. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next weekend. Y'all be y'all stay safe. Happy hunting. We'll see you next weekend. <laughs>